How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to build the best created ball player in MLB The Show 22 in 24 hours. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I started building my created player yesterday and basically took these attributes, applied equipment, and turned it into one of if not the best created player that you can ever create in Diamond Dynasty for MLB The Show 22. This is what my player is looking like, and he is not even maxed out. So we're going to go ahead and hide the face cam. I'll explain exactly how to build this type of creative player and a lot of tips and tricks, how to earn XP, how to earn a lot of stubs, and what to do with some of the rewards that you get by completing this type of thing. So I'm going to use the anomaly archetype to explain how to grind the created ball player in MLB The Show 22. You can see that he can do, pretty much do just about everything and he can pretty much do it well. Throughout this process, I pretty much went from about 300,000 XP to about 400,000 XP and I was able to hit the XP cap in doing this method. You can see that I have um, a created player and we have another extra 110,000 XP by playing Road to the Show. Now, the very first thing you're going to need to do is create a ball player of course but I'm gonna take you through the process and really all these created players are good I wouldn't pick the fielding archetype I'd probably either choose contact or power for this specific video I'm gonna go ahead and select power I'm looking for a power hitting second baseman so that's exactly what I'm going to create and this is gonna take you a little bit of time you're gonna go ahead and select these types of settings we're gonna go into the appearance and now we can kind of customize our creative ball player a little bit. I'm going to speed up this process a tad. We're going to go ahead and get into the loadout menu. And there is some tutorials. There are some pop-ups that will help you if you are brand new. Um, but essentially, we're going to equip the power archetype. And we're going to equip some of these bronze basic perks. Uh, the main thing to focus on is that your player will not look like this. right? He's going to start off pretty bad. And now you're going to have to kind of grind road to the show with specific settings and a few different factors to maximize your time put in and maximize the amount of progress that you're making. So I'm just kind of taking this uh, pretty fast right here. We are going to start with the sparking slugger archetype. I think all three of these would be just great. I'm going to go with the sparking slugger. And now we're also going to equip any equipment that you have already right bronze equipment silver gold if you don't have any equipment that's okay this part is more important so if you notice i went to the main menu i went to that top right screen and we're looking for pretty much any road to the show roster that has a lot of terrible players on all of the other teams and a lot of great players on the team that you're looking for so shout out to uh, light skin chris he did talk about a specific roster in one of his videos we're gonna use it this is the Phillies roster created by Casnella and I don't know who that is but any roster will work for this type of thing right if you find one on there for your favorite squad and it has you know a lot of one overall players on every other team and uh, 99 overall players or you know boosted up players on the specific team that you're looking for for example in this video we're gonna use the Phillies if you don't have a personal preference, then I would recommend just going with this exact roster. But now we have to make sure that we get onto the Phillies team. So they're going to ask you a couple of questions. This is once I've kind of gone into Road to the Show, started it up with a loaded roster that I downloaded. And now I'm selecting that it is a National League team. There's a good chance you have different menus here because there are 30 different teams. So there are a lot of different ways to navigate through these menus. We need to select an NL East team. I'm going to pick the Phillies because that is the roster I've downloaded. We want to be on that squad. And once you do this, you should see kind of a cutscene. I'm going to fast forward through this cutscene a little bit. This is like times two speed. But I like these features. I like these MLB Network features. We had Carlos Pena right there. Still waiting for a Carlos Pena legend card. Um, but in fact, we are going to get the Phillies logo to pop up on our cell phone here, which means we are now a part of the Philadelphia Phillies. And we can see that right now. So we have uh, initiated phase two, right? Phase one, create the ball player, load up the roster, 
get into Road to the Show. Phase two, we need to work on the settings. So we are not going to complete any fielding opportunities or any base running opportunities. You are going to be able to grind some of your base stats without doing this. The main thing you want to focus on are the hitting attributes and just basically hitting and developing your player that way. The rest of it will kind of follow suit in terms of the developmental stages and I'll talk more about that in a minute here. We can adjust our user settings as well. Uh, I prefer to play Road to the Show on Veteran because I'm not trying to mess myself up by playing on Beginner. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go into the League setting. We're going to go to the Stadium Assignment Selection. And now we're going to assign a created stadium with maxed out elevation. And that is going to allow you to hit more extra base hits, which is exactly how you grind these individual archetype programs. So I'm on bronze power right now. We hit square to load that up and we can see our progress. Now I've played a few series of Road to the Show and I've accumulated, you know, some free packs, some free perks. Yes, these are bronze tier. They're not good, but you need to earn them in order to continue developing your player towards that silver tier, towards that gold tier, and eventually the diamond tier. This does take several, several hours to complete, but you are grinding more than just a created player here. You're grinding the face of the franchise program. You're earning perks and equipment to go along with him. And you are also grinding um, some of these base attributes. Now, when I say base attributes, your player is going to start with all attributes in the 30s. You can get boosts while you're playing to upgrade these a little bit faster. And about once a week, you are going to get this type of cutscene to where you can upgrade uh, one or two specific categories, sometimes three. And you can uh, upgrade your base attributes in this way. You can max out these base attributes at 50. And once you have that player at the 50 threshold, you can't really upgrade that specific attribute anymore. The only way to upgrade it is with these perks and equipment that you can unlock by grinding the program. So with that being said, I'm going to take you through the entire program. Keep in mind that this took me several hours to complete. We started with the Sparking Slugger archetype. As you can see, I've adjusted the perks. I earned some diamond perks. I've added them to the player, and he's at an 80 overall. Once you complete the bronze archetype, you'll unlock the sparking slugger silver archetype. You'll go through that. You need more extra base hits. You need more base hits and um, tally plate appearances as well. That will help you earn the progress towards this gold archetype. I decided to choose the anomaly. You get three different archetypes depending on which bronze or silver archetype that you've picked. I have then shown you my perks. I once again chose the Diamond Anomaly archetype. I have I've shown you my perks. And then we're going to go through some of the equipment. So then you can see exactly how I was able to get those attributes that you saw at the beginning of the video. But now my player is at a 92 overall. I've earned a bunch of stubs. I've earned a bunch of rewards by doing this. Uh, 100,000 XP, uh, over 100,000 stubs. And this method is very easy. It is tedious. It does take a lot of time. You kind of have to maybe put on a TV show in the background, just play some Road to the Show, maybe play it on the Nintendo Switch even. Um, but throughout this program, you are kind of grinding these program points. We have the Road to the Show missions down below. And as you are improving your player, the missions take a little bit longer. In the Diamond program, I'm only about halfway done. But in the Diamond Anomaly program, you can earn some diamond equipment, some perks, and these are the significant boosts that you need to add to your player. Before we go over the equipment that I'm using on my created player, I wanted to give you some advice that I think could potentially help out a lot of people. If you have any of these stance socks or any cleats, I think you should sell them on the community marketplace because we are going to get a Jackie Robinson program in a couple of days. There is a great chance that within the program, you're able to unlock the Jackie Robinson cleats and the Jackie Robinson stance socks for free. Now, if you have those equipment items already, I would sell them because they are probably going to tank in price. I would think they're going to be cut in half. Now, regardless, if you decide 
this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. You might be right. I could be wrong. And you might not want to sell them. I just wanted to include that before I go over the equipment items that I have on my created player currently and why I decide to use, you know, diamond equipment items in certain areas and gold equipment items in other areas. Part of that is because I think over time we're going to get some of these uh, diamond equipment items for free over various programs through various things that we can grind in MLB The Show 22. But I still think it's important to have a lot of this equipment. The only equipment you don't necessarily need is the catcher's equipment if you decide to not grind a catcher. I do have the leg guards here, but everything else is uh, pretty expensive. I do want to say I spent about 120000 maybe a little bit more, on my creative player. But to me, it's absolutely worth it, especially this early on in the year, to have a player with these types of attributes and a player that's not even maxed out completely yet. I can get up to 93 contact against both sides, 126 power, so I'd have to adjust my equipment a little bit so that it can max out at 125. I can maximize the amount of contact that I'm getting. But 87 or 88 vision with gold defense, I mean, this is an incredible cap. Plus, he's going to have 99 speed. I do have one more base attribute in speed to grind, and he will be maxed out. But that's going to do it for this video. That is how to grind the best created player within 24 hours in MLB The Show 22. Hopefully, I was able to help you out in some way. Peace out.